Hello, everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Today, today we're uh, taking a look at Loopy Pro, Synthmaster 1 and Synthmaster 2 here, and how to set up multiple synths in Loopy, but also have the MIDI channel different for each of those synths. So you're not continually either lowering the volume or overloading your CPU, etc. So if I press a, a little key on my MIDI keyboard now, Synthmaster 2 is going to play. You'll see it here. Okay, and if I change the MIDI channel now on my keyboard, so you'd have to you know how to change the MIDI channel on your keyboard, I'm going to change it to channel one. Now we're playing Synthmaster one. So for a moment, I'm just going to back, go back to MIDI channel two, and now I'm playing Synthmaster two again. Now, the way to do this, you load the instruments the same as always. So you would go to this little plus button here, you would go add audio unit, choose your synth, and then it will appear here. And then you add the destination for that synth. Okay, here. So you click this, add the synth in. So you say you wanted another synth master one in there. And it will, uh, your destination will appear here. Now to change the MIDI channel, it's really easy. You just quickly tap on one of these once it's loaded into the destination slot here. So tap on this and you get this little screen here and you say it says Synthmaster 1. We can remove it. We can set the channel here. So you'll see I've got it set on channel 1. It will have defaulted to all channels. And if all channels is playing, of course, so let's say, let's leave that on all channels. Go to Synth um, Master 2 and set that to all channels. Let's do this, hang on. Both of them are now going to play if I press a key. Now, obviously with something like this, you don't want that. But if you want to build up multi-layered <coughs> synthesizers sort of thing and play them all at the same time, you get it, so you get a lush pad or something. That's a good way to do it. Set the channels the same. Okay, so we're going to go back to here. We'll set this to uh, channel two. And I'll go back here and set this to channel one. So now I'll have control. You can also set the range here as well. Okay. And also you can open a app from this point as well. And you can expand it there, collapse it there, up, adjust the size here, of course, close it there. And you can do the same with Synthmaster 2. We look at this we can go in and we can set the range of the keyboard so if you only want like some at the top or whatever you can open it there and you can remove it there right okay awesome so i have this set at 115 bpm i'm gonna make sure my metronome is on for the first part and i've got it tracking over four bars so this is for the global settings i'm going to um press play you'll hear this counting. I'm going to arm this track and it's going to wait till it comes around for me to start playing. Okay, now I've got that loop going. I'm going to go back into Synthmaster 2 and I've got another one highlighted here. This one, which is a, which is a kick is really cool and close this i'm gonna <coughs> arm this one when it gets around it will uh, i can press it and play obviously awesome okay now I've got those two tracks from Synthmaster 1. I'll add something from Synthmaster 2. Uh, sorry, I've got the two tracks from Synthmaster 2. I'm going to add one from Synthmaster 1. But before I do that, um, these drums, depending on what packs you have, I suppose, but I think most of these are in the actual, uh, the drums are in, you know, the main app sort of thing. But you just go to drums here as an instrument type and you should be able to find anything with a DR preface there. Uh, with drums. Okay, so let's just close that for a moment. Let's go into our MIDI channel. I'm going to hold shift on my little Artoria key step and choose MIDI channel one. And now I'll be playing Synthmaster one. 
I'm going to open up and choose a sound that might sound nice with that. So we'll just go full screen for a moment. I'll just go browse and let's we'll see. I'm going to use this sound because I really like it. So. Right. Okay. So we'll play our track and it will still be on our default four bars, but we can change it now to anything we like. Say we wanted to do a long solo or what have you. We don't need the metronome now because of course we've got some drums in to give us a guide. So I'm just going to play this. I'm going to arm this track, wait till it comes around and play something in. can now choose another sound. Maybe I'll pick something from, uh, uh, let's see, synth lead. So if we go back now to MIDI channel two, I've just selected that on my keyboard. We're back in Synthmaster and I shall find some sort of bass related arpeggio down here. We go back up what our arps are usually near the top. So let's see. So that'll do it. I just for this, for this. Maybe go over. Okay, I'm gonna leave it though. Um the volume we can adjust at any time later. So I'm just gonna record some bass in now. And it doesn't matter where you put these in the donuts, it it it, it don't matter. Let's press play. Uh, let's record the bass here. And that's guy. That that's that's how you do it. Now I that's how I do it. I like to build up loops and stuff, and it's great for demo and synths and things. Uh, so yeah, if you want to use more than one synth, and you were thinking, well, like, you know, I, is it an easy way just to change the channel? It is. You just tap on it here in the destination slot, and then you can change the channel. Uh, like I said, you can also control the keyboard range here, uh, or remove the app, uh, or just open up the instance of the plugin. Decrease it here. You can go like wolf. And yeah, awesome stuff. That's how you do it. I use Synthmaster 1 and Synthmaster 2 because they sound brilliant. And of course, then we can do like our like what I like to do as well as also like uh we'll switch a couple of these off to start. And then I like to sort of just bring stuff back in and out. They put this one in next. Anyway, you get the idea. Awesome stuff. So you load in your AUV3, you click on this, choose the MIDI channel, and you're good to go. You just got to remember 
how to uh, change MIDI channel. You've got to know how to change MIDI channel on your keyboard. It's usually pretty straightforward. There's usually some sort of indicator, a shift or a, a MIDI channel control thing. But on the key step, it's dead easy. You just hold shift and then press one of the keys, one to 16, to choose the MIDI channel. And you're golden. You can choose your synth. You can have many of them, uh, different channels. Oh, one more thing. I will show you one more thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, and I did kind of touch on this at the beginning. But, you know, you, you'll you'll have got this anyway. Say, for example, let's go into uh, Synthmaster 1 for a moment. Let's just expand this full screen. Go into our, um, where's our browser gone now? There we go. Go into our browser. I'm going to choose some sort of piano keysy type thing. What's this? It's a favorite. Right, I'm going to change my MIDI channel. So say, for instance, we have this nice brass sound. And then I'm going to go to MIDI channel 2. I'm going to change the sound in Synthmaster to a maybe an organ type sound. I don't know. What's this? Um... <clears throat> I mean, you would definitely spend more time finding sounds that would work together for this. But then what you could say is, right, well, okay, that's fine. Maybe I'm going to um, go into my thing here. I leave that on channel one, go into Synthmaster 2 and put that on channel one and, wait a sec, change my MIDI keyboard to channel one. Now you've got like an organ and a brass pad. So then you could then just go right, okay. Mixture of those two sounds recorded onto your donut. Awesome stuff. Guys, thanks so much. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Please consider becoming a patron for a dollar a month. You get access to absolutely tons of free stuff that you can use synth patches, samples, uh, field recordings, all sorts of stuff. Anyway, brilliant. <clears throat> Excuse me, bit chesty this morning. I think it's the weather. All right, I'll see you later. Ta-ra, Synthmaster 1, Synthmaster 2, Loopy Pro, MIDI channels, all that cool stuff. Ta-ra.